Goods and services can be provided by both the public and the private sectors. The private sector is run by individuals or group of individuals, while the public sector is managed by government departments. The public sector often provides their services for free to the public, covering the cost through taxes. Here are the two main types of businesses in the private sector. Unincorporated Businesses where the owner and the business are the same, so everything related to the business is carried out in the owner's name. Incorporated Businesses where business is a separate legal entity. The business can be sued, sue or be closed down and all things are carried out under the business's name. In this video, we will focus more on unincorporated businesses. We will discuss incorporated businesses in the next lesson. Sole Traders A sole trader is a business owned by a single person. It is the simplest commercial enterprise. Some features of sole traders are Simple formation No special documents Personal capital has to be invested Owner has complete control and ownership Owner keeps the full profit and they have unlimited liability. Unlimited liability means that the owners of the business is personally responsible for all business debts which can go above the amount originally invested. So sole traders can do a variety of professions ranging from farmers and fishermen to small builders and manufacturers to shop owners or service offerers. Now let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of sole traders. Advantages Owner keeps all the profits Owner has complete control There are no legal requirements Flexibility, meaning they can adapt to changes quickly Offer personal service to consumers May qualify for government help Disadvantages Unlimited liability Struggle to raise finance too much of a responsibility for the owner. Owners might have to work long hours. They are too small to exploit economies of scale. And the business dies with the owner. Partnerships A partnership is when a business is owned by 2 to 20 people. Some features of partnerships are No legal requirements Employ other staff Both partners contribute to capital there could be a limited partnership where capital is provided by a partner but they do not work in the business. Ownership and control is by the partners. Profit is distributed among partners. Unlimited liabilities. And a deed of partnership is formed. A deed of partnership is a legal document that states the rights of the partners. It states how much capital each partner gave, how profits are shared and how to terminate a partnership. Now let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of partnerships. Advantages They are easy to set up and run. Partners can specialize in what they are good at. Running the business is shared. More capital can be raised. And financial information is not published. Disadvantages Unlimited liability. Profits have to be shared. The partners might disagree. Any partner's decision affects every partner.